man in the United States illegally has been charged with the murder of Molly Tibbetts. Matt Finn has the latest. Matt. Just a tragic ending to this mystery. Nearly a month after Molly Tibbetts vanished on July 18th, police a short while telling us that 24-year-old Christian Rivera was just charged with first-degree murder in the death of Molly Tibbetts. Investigators tell us that there was a surveillance tape that was crucial in solving this mystery and this crime, a surveillance tape that showed Molly Tibbetts apparently running. They looked at that surveillance tape and apparently saw Christian Rivera in his car or somewhere on that that tape. They say that they questioned Rivera about the death of Molly Tibbetts. He says that on the evening she went missing on July 18th, he was following her. Uh, we're not sure if he followed her first in his car or on foot, and that he eventually started to chase her. And Molly Tibbetts said, Get away from me. She got out her cell phone and asked him to get away from her. He tells police at that point he blacked out. Then this morning, nearly more than a month later, this man uh, took authorities to the body of Molly Tibbetts, which is not far from here. It was found in a cornfield, uh, apparently trying to be hidden by some extra corn stalks. Uh, investigators say that that man uh, has been charged with first. First degree murder, and we are expecting to learn much more as this uh, story develops. Matt, could I ask you something? Um, you, I know you've been covering this case from the beginning. Early on, when the police had a press conference, they said at one point that they believed that the suspect was hiding in plain sight. Do you think that Christian Rivera was that person? Well, we're told that he lived in this area for four to seven years, so he was perhaps a member of this community, maybe a well-known member of this community. So it is very likely, Dana, that he was hiding in plain sight. Authorities and family said that they think there's a possibility that the person contributed to the search efforts. We can't confirm that. We don't know if Rivera was hiding out the entire time or if he was going on with his daily life, Dana. All right, Greg has a question for you. I, I was, it's a dumb question, but he's a legal alien here for four to seven years. How did he pull that off? Was it just one of those cases where no one seemed yep. to check? Yeah. Not sure, Greg. It's a good question. Uh, Juan, anybody questions? You know, one of the interesting things about this is that uh, her cell phone and her Fitbit had been reported as missing. And I wonder if they have now recovered those items and if that could help, although it seems as if we have a confession in this case. I believe that at the tail end of this press conference that just wrapped up, uh, one of the lead investigators did say that her Fitbit did help. She also had her iPhone on her. And what's interesting is that investigators were out in this area for quite some time, and uh, they were questioning a, a farmer who lived nearby mm -hmm. multiple times. And that farmer confessed or insisted that he had nothing to do with this. So we're trying to now confirm if investigators were out here because maybe her Fitbit did ping out here. Maybe her cell phone did ping out in the region where her body was found. All right, Matt Finn, thank you. Thank you for all of your reporting on this story.